Today in the boot guide, we are going to look at the Condor Arizona 8 inch wheat color boot with a steel toe. So right off the bat, the thing we got to understand about the Arizona is that it is a steel toe type tactical work boot. That we're not talking about just a plain old tactical work boot here. We are talking about something that has a very dependable steel toe that has a beautiful shape to it that is lightweight and exceptionally comfortable. Now, the first part we always got to start when it comes to these lightweight Condor boots is we got to talk about the Amtec sole. Now the Amtec sole, what is it? It is a process that is proprietary to the Condor company. A way they make their material and the way they put the sole to the upper makes these boots from Condor, all the work boots and all the tactical boots, unique. Not only are they extremely flexible, but extremely durable and they will not separate upper from sole upon flexing and using. Now we gotta move up into my favorite part of every single boot is the leather. And on this boot, we are looking at a new buck leather. Now what I love about new buck leather is that it always looks rough and tough. Now this new buck is no different. This is a beautiful wheat colored new buck. It's got a really, really good hand to it. But one of the drawbacks is that this boot is not 100% waterproof, but new buck can be sprayed and treated with silicone, which if you're going to be wearing this boot as an everyday work boot, I would strongly suggest that you invest in a can of silicone and spray this thing down. Mainly for your own peace of mind, that you're actually treating your boot well, that you're giving it that extra bit of security. And what's wrong with taking care of your boots, right? So like I said, it's a steel toe and this steel toe meets all the American safety standards when it comes to steel toes. Now that is something that you will find in most every steel toe. But what is unique about this Condor boot in its steel toe department is just the pure shape. Higher on this side, lower on that side. Following the natural shapes and curves of your foot because your big toe is always a bigger toe. It's the big toe, right? And it goes down to your pinky toe. So there doesn't have to be the equal amount of space from one side to the other. And by doing that, you make a more flexible boot to the natural prone position when you are bending down to work. Now, steel toe. Why do I love steel toe so much? because you can drop stuff on it all day long. You can kick stuff with a steel toe. You don't have to worry about it like you do with a comp toe. Comp toe, you can't see what's going on inside. You drop something on it once the wrong way, it fractures, you gotta replace the boot. Steel toes, not the deal. Steel is real and it's always dependable. So now the next thing we're gonna talk about is the oil and slip resistance of the Amtec sole. Oil and slip resistant. Now this doesn't mean you're not gonna slip in oil. Oil is a viscous material. It is always slippery. But what it does mean is that it's not gonna suck up oil. Cutting oil, diesel fuel oil, all that oil. When you have really cheap rubber type soles, sometimes what happens is they just suck up the oil and they start to balloon out. They get really big and swollen. Condor, with the proprietary material, they have eliminated that. Now, when it comes to slip resistancy, well, look at the compound in that sole. Look at the tread pattern. That's a lot of water displacement going on in that sole. And it's no wonder why they can say that it's a slip resistant boot. It's a nice, soft, sticky material, and it's got a lot of different tread patterns. Now, when we open this thing up, what we find is that it is lined with a wicking material. Now, like I said, it's not a waterproof boot, even though it's a beautiful new buck. It's got all kinds of ballistic nylon on it and even this beautiful skeletalized material on the side to give the nylon extra support, the boot is not 100% waterproof. If you don't treat it and you don't spray it down and you just leave it natural, what you're gonna find is it's gonna be a wonderful warm weather eight inch boot because of the polyester liner inside there. It's a wicking polyester liner. So that means a lot of the moisture is gonna be pulled away from your foot and pushed to the surface of the boot. And since we are talking a natural material like Nubuck, we all know that when your foot is sweaty inside a Nubuck boot, all that moisture is pushed out and the boot remains a little bit drier than it normally would with a heavy duty leather boot. 
Now it's an eight inch boot and it comes with basic speed laces. Now again, remember, this is not a boot that's gonna break the bank. This is not hundreds of dollars on the retail end of this boot. It's a very affordable boot. So they're not gonna use the best materials everywhere. And the speed laces are one of those places where they're just pressed over, pressed to fit speed laces. Not my favorite kind, they usually bend out and crack, but if it does happen, because the boot is gonna be pretty durable, there is actually a hole on the back, so if you do break one off, you can still run your lace through it. Now, wouldn't it be a boot guy review if I didn't pull out the insole, right? And inside this boot, what we find is a single density, soft urethane cushion insole. It feels like a memory foam, but it's got a lot of spring back. Now, when you add this, to this Amtec sole, what you're gonna end up with is a very bouncy energy return type boot, an all day boot. And something I gotta mention is that because the Amtec sole, the way they attach the upper to the sole, there isn't a need for a lot going on down here. So you're much closer to the ground than you normally would be with a pair of work boots. So if you're used to wearing tactical boots and if you're used to wearing lightweight shoes, Having something like this where you get a real secure fit, where you're more connected to the ground with each and every step, this is gonna be a comfortable all day boot. Now, who do I see wearing this thing? Well, this is a perfect boot for a delivery guy. This is the perfect boot for a guy that loves wearing eight inch boots because of the ankle support and because of the support that just comes from an eight inch boot. And this is the perfect boot for somebody who is coming from a gym shoe, coming from an athletic shoe, but needs to have a little something up on their ankle. Now, all of this ankle section up here is padded, so it's gonna give you protection from bumps, bangs, and bruises and stuff like that. Now, like I said, these things are lightweight and a pair of Arizonas with a steel toe is coming in at 2.4 pounds. So that's the eight inch Arizona by Condor with a steel toe. Hey, if you're currently wearing any of the Condor footwear, please comment below. Let guys know about the Amtec sole. Is it holding up to your work environment? And just what is that work environment? Hey, if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos of the Arizona, swing by to bootguy.com. I will have a breakdown of all the materials that go into building a pair of these, even how the sole is connected to the upper. And I'll also have detailed photos that you won't find anywhere else of the inside, the outside, and all the little parts that make this boot happen. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're on Instagram or Twitter, please remember you can always follow me there. I always find some interesting boots. I take some interesting photos and I put them out there so we can have some interesting discussions about these boots. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these Arizonas or anything from the Condor line, remember you can always shoot me over an email if you got questions about size, fit, dependability, and whether or not the boot's gonna be right for your line of work feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.